My experience with uh, rugby in the past is, is of a lot of scars. Um, I don't like scars just as much as the next guy. And uh, having a softer pitch is much better to play on than concrete. There are pitches in Edmonton that are next to concrete and uh, you hear nothing but complaints from the players from this club going to other clubs. I'm saying, oh man, well, I don't want to play on those things. You know, they're like stone. And then you come here and we've had absolutely nothing but compliments that uh, the rugby players would rather be tackled here than somewhere else. Good job, Jim. Three weeks ago, we had the uh, Junior Rugby Championships for all of Canada, the best junior rugby in Canada. And uh, the last day, um, it rained. And I mean, it rained good. I mean, it rained really good. And I was scared that uh, the kids were going to tear up the grounds because these are big 19 year old kids, like I said, the best in Canada. And uh, I was scared for my grounds, thinking that the club is going to somehow have to spend all this money to repair our pitch. So they played on the last pitch just in front of me here. And uh, I was amazed, and everybody else was amazed, that it held up. Could not believe it. As a matter of fact, uh, Rugby Canada was amazed. Rugby Alberta was amazed. I was enthralled because I was worried to death. It's now been three weeks, and I defy you to tell me, uh, show me where it was torn up. Um, our best product is uh, we apply it to our cistern. We are, um, it goes right from the city of Edmonton water. The water dumps into our cistern, and we have a cap on the top of our cistern, and it's the easiest thing to apply this stuff. You just dump it in the cistern, done deal. Extremely little labor. And as far as maintenance and advice, um, you can't go wrong here because it's almost trouble free. Yes, you'll have you know a few patches and repairs that you got to do with, but uh, it recovers very well. This is an example of a, uh, a, a typical scar on the pitch. And uh, what is remarkable, again, is that this happened three days ago. And if I actually peel this grass back, you can start to see where everything is beginning to heal itself. Um, this, is, this is incredible for me because scars like this usually last um, all season. And I defy you, I wish you, you guys could come back in about three weeks and that'll be gone. What I would like to show you is a clear line to where uh, the, our uh, seeded grass has been planted and uh, where best has been applied. No weeds are growing and uh, we've had no herbicides on this side. It's consistently green. There, whatever you see behind me is all three pitches or both pitches that are in front of me. It's the same color. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. I, I relish actually uh, coming to work and seeing the green. Right here is where our irrigation system cuts off and you can now see the bleed after three weeks to where um, it's beginning to bleed into the next grass. And the line is, is, is nice and cut and dry. Um, besides that, this is where we have a whole bunch of standing water um, to my right here and you will see that there is no algae whatsoever. Okay, we're on the west side of the pitch that we were on previously and uh, this is where Best Products has not uh, been applied and uh, let me just show you what's here. The ground maintenance has been incredible. Um, the small repairs that we've had to do um, are far and few between, really. Um, other than mowing the grass, it grows very well and uh, recovers well. Again, a weekly, on, you can be on a weekly schedule and uh, keep up with everything. The best product that uh, is supplied to us uh, has uh, conditioned our ground enough to where I believe we have the best pitches in Edmonton. Um, our grass is greener uh, and it's softer than everybody else around. These pitches here are used practically every day except for Friday and Sunday and sometimes on Sunday. Uh, they're used all the time and the recovery rate normally should be 
two or three days you want off during a week and then you can play on it again and then towards the end of the season you, your pitchers are pretty well torn up and then you got to wait all winter to play on them or do whatever so that they can recover. We're recovering here in three weeks. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Our club is amazed.